Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how to sort arrays via the uh, sort filter for arrays. So if you're ever working with arrays in your backend, there might be times where uh, you wanna make sense of them by sorting them in a certain order. This is when you would use this uh, sort array filter. So here in Xano, I've created this uh, function with three different arrays for us to play around in. Uh, so I can show you all the different sort types. So we'll get into all of them, but first uh, let's go ahead, let's dive into array one. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll run this and show you that this is just an array of text, okay? So this is unsorted. We have some lowercase uh, text here, some uppercase one. So in order to do a sort on this, there's two different ways I could do it. I could either uh, do it via the function stack or I could do it in the response. And for this video, I'm going to be doing the filter in the response. So when I open up the response right here under um, the variable, I can go ahead and add a filter. And in here, I'm just gonna search for sort, I'll type it in. And when I do that, we'll see this anatomy of this sort filter. So first we have a path because remember, um, arrays can either be scalar, which are more primitive data types such as text and numbers, or they can even be a list of objects. So we just have the more primitive scalar version right now, but path is there if you need it. And now we have this sort type. So we have five different sort values here. Uh, we have number, which sorts the array numerically. We have text and iText, which are going to sort the array by text. Text is gonna be case sensitive, iText case insensitive. And then we have natural and iNatural. Natural case sensitive, iNatural case insensitive. And natural we'll dive into a little more when we get to array three, but it's basically just the natural order of how uh, humans might expect things to be ordered. So for this first array, let's go ahead, I'll show you this text, which is case sensitive. And this last part of the sort is ascending. So in order to do either, in order to ascending order, we would select a true Boolean in this dropdown. And if we wanted to descending, we would select a false Boolean. So I'll do true. So text is going to uh, do a case sensitive sort by alphabetical order. So capital uh, letters will get priority first. So when I go ahead and save this and I run this, we'll see that this array is now sorted. So we have this capital A, then this capital Z, and then we have lowercase a and lowercase x. So now I'm going to show you how to do the iText, which is case insensitive. So I'll just click back into this sort filter, simply hit this drop down menu and find iText, and then I'll hit update and I'll hit save. And now when I go ahead and run this, we'll see that it is sorted case insensitive. So that's it for text. Um, I'm gonna go ahead back into the response, get rid of this filter. And now let's look at array two, which are numbers. So when I go ahead and run this, we'll see an array of just different numeric values. So if I wanted to sort this, we would use the numeric sort type. So I'll go back into the response, I'll hit add filter, and I'll just search for sort again, and I'll hit save. Don't need a path once again. And for the type, this time, I'm going to go ahead and select number, and then ascending or descending. Um, let's go ahead and do false. So false will be descending, so we'll get the highest number, to the lowest number. So I'll hit update and I'll hit save. And now when I run this, here we go. We see uh, this array sorted numerically in descending order. So we have 1000 first and the numbers get lower as it goes. So that's number, pretty straightforward. Um, now let's go ahead and jump into this last array, array three here. So array three is gonna be these alphanumeric uh, characters here, such as if I had this .png file. So this is a great use case for uh, the natural or iNatural filter. Uh, so let me first show you here. If I go ahead and uh, do a filter here to sort it, and say I want to uh, select a number sort here, and we'll say this is gonna be ascending order. So this will be a true Boolean, and I'll hit update and save, when I go ahead and run this, we'll see this is sorted kind of interesting, right? So we have IMG1, IMG10, then 12, then two. Um, so this numeric sort uh, type is going to 
sort these alphanumeric characters sort of in this way, and text will do a similar thing. So this is where natural sort type comes in because it'll sort it in a natural order um, how me and you might think of it as. So for example, if I go ahead back into this filter and change the type from number to natural and hit update and hit save, now when I run this, we'll see this array is now sorted IMG1, IMG2, 10, 12. Uh, so more of a natural order that makes sense. So uh, that's it for these sort filters. Um, I definitely hope that this was helpful. Uh, you can find more information too in our documentation. So definitely check that out if that would be helpful for your use case. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.